Hey guys, I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios and today I'm really excited to be reviewing 4th Impact. I've actually never heard them, this is my first time. They're out of the UK and I've heard really great things about them and of course I'm a sucker for The Greatest Showman, anything in The Greatest Showman. Um, and this is my favorite song from The Greatest Showman, Never Enough. So we're going to be listening to this and I'm going to be giving you my take on how they're doing. Side note, I wish I wrote this song, just saying. So good. I like her crescendo there. Pretty. I'm not a huge fan of where she chose to breathe there. I really like the vocal timbre. She's got a breathier quality than the other girls, which is appropriate for the part that she's singing. Um, but it was a little bit uh, of a clumsy choice to breathe where she did. Um, and, and not necessary, she had the breath for it. She just kind of chose to, to breathe there for whatever reason. Um, and as a side note, um, a couple of the girls have their legs crossed, and I talked about that in another video, especially when you're singing, it's really difficult to get the proper breath when your legs are crossed because the tendency then is to kind of lean forward into your leg instead of having no legs crossed and you're upright. Okay, so if you're singing and if you're sitting, please just don't cross your legs. Just like cross them to, at your ankles and not at your knees, okay? Vowels. Beautiful tone, really nice open mouth there. Her vibrato as a result was able to flutter freely. Really nicely placed note, very good. Did you see her abs work on that? Never be. Wow, that was like beautiful technique right there. You could see the girl in all jean. You could go back and listen to it one more time. We have to watch her stomach move when she takes that breath. It's perfect. Right here, right there. Really good. That is a great use of one big breath, right? She was just continuing. The girls never, 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 never. Three times and she's still singing from the same breath. That's what we call using your breath well. I mean, she breathed in a good place. She was rationing off the breath responsibly and therefore she was able to sing an overarching amount of melody underneath a bunch of different nevers from the background singers. That was really, really nicely done.
like just one person to do that at the end. That I, oh, that was such an amazing high note, right? And then you hear the dissonance and slight difference of placement, slight difference of pitches for that me, uh, for, the, for that for me rather. And I think yes, they're a group of four, but oh, they've been doing different vocals and sharing parts and um, and also doing solo parts in it. And I think that part would have been much more powerful having just one girl do it. Maybe the one with the more breathy tone, perhaps, but um, we'll listen to that one more time, you decide. <laughs> to me, they just didn't quite line up until midway through the me. And that's the last thing that you remember. And I always tell my students, you know, people, people decide if they like you the first 15 to 20 seconds of hearing you sing. They decide if they're going to either press replay or come back to another show the last 15 seconds of your song. So they like you the first 15 and they're fans of yours the last 15. And of course, they're so great, you know, I, I would listen to them again and I would definitely go to a show and I would give them another chance um, and, and, and listening to another YouTube video of theirs. but that last little phrase could have been so much more powerful with just one of them singing. They're all really great singers. I was glad to see that, um, who seems to be the lead singer, the second one in from the left with the all jean outfit on, she uncrossed her legs when she was going to sing and they stayed uncrossed. Um, so by the time it ended, only one girl kept her legs crossed the whole time and she didn't seem to be singing a whole lot in the song. Anyway. So that was great. The girl with the jean, Outfit on clearly to me is the strongest singer out of the four not to pit them against I mean, they're all they're all excellent singers, but her technique was really really solid I mean you could see instead of her chest heaving for those quick catch breaths They went down to the right place You could see her abs actually engage after she took the breath Which is what allowed her to sing so freely and so clearly and so high all at the same time on those belt notes This is not an easy song. I've performed it live myself and it's definitely a challenge. You, this is one of those songs where I call it a, it a tattletale song because if your technique is not on point, ooh, it's gonna tell on you, you're gonna know. And so is the, whoever is listening to you. So really great, beautiful job well done. I love the harmonies. I love the vocal arrangement to the harmonies in the back. And I like the distribution of different melodies that um, was given to each girl. Um, but definitely props to that second girl in uh, Fourth Impact, I'm a fan. Um, and I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, please make sure you subscribe below um, and make sure that you follow us on Instagram too at Tara Simon Studios. We post little Insta hacks and Insta lessons to give you quick tips and tricks on helping you be a better singer fast. And um, also follow us on Facebook too. We've got some students doing amazing things and we want you to be sure you're in the know of what we've got going on uh, by way of our talent as well. So thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.